Hey, Bristol London Road, did you know that in April, the most expensive home to sell in the neighborhood was a three bedroom home on Exeter Court? I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader with the Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker, and this is your April sales report in the month of May. Now before we start, I wanna send a special thank you to Marco at Joya on Main for allowing us to film in their restaurant today. If you're looking for a great place for a date night or somewhere to host an event, you gotta check out Joya on Main. And they have one of the best patios you'll find in the area. And as far as recommendations go, I recommend the Puglia Pizza. Mm -hmm. All right, there was 13 residential sales in the month of April. Five of those were detached homes ranging from $1,162,000 on Bexhill Hill Road to $1.28 million just up the hill on Exeter Court. There was actually a 14th sale. It was a development land on Main Street North, which was for 16 townhomes, but more on that later. There was eight semi-detached homes sell in the month of April, ranging in price from $715,000 for a fixer upper on Rye Court to $880,000 for a very similar back split home on Penn Avenue that had been fully renovated and had a basement apartment. Although there was no sign to show that that was a legal registered apartment. All right, nine of the 13 sales were either at or above the asking price in the month. With that semi on Penn Avenue that I just spoke about selling for 126% of asking, which was nearly $180,000 more than the $698,000 asking price. Now that was a little bit of a deceiving price as it was in excellent condition. So that price was really there to get a lot more people through the door and generate a multiple offer scenario. Okay, so I did mention the 14th sale. That was in a townhouse development on Main Street North at Jim Barber Court. It was actually a power of sale property that sold for $4.5 million for 16 units. At a price of $4.5 million, it worked out to be just over $280,000 per townhouse lot, which is a pretty reasonable price considering the price of townhomes these days. Now, you do have to factor in how much developers are gonna have in soft costs, such as development fees and all kinds of planning processes, but in all in all, it's going to be an exciting development that we're welcoming into the community. So in closing, April was a fantastic month for Bristol London Road, and we expect May to be even busier. Detached homes are moving really well, and semi-detached homes always move well, really because of the price point. I see no reason to doubt the demand for the area because of its amazing location. If you have any questions or concerns about the information provided in this report, please reach out. We would really like to hear from you. And if you're a homeowner and you want to get an idea on what your home is worth in today's market, we would love to set up a talk to arrange a complimentary and honest home evaluation to give you a realistic idea of what your home may be worth so you can get a better handle on how to strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.